this video was made to just appreciate and to make sure that we do not forget about the team in 2002 that won a national championship for Team Sask um, 20 years ago, actually, this year. Hey guys, Beats here. I uh, hope everyone's doing well. 2002, that's quite a while ago. You know how many times I've been hit in the head since then? I went home this past summer and my mom and dad have kept some things for me over the years and lo and behold, one of the things that I stumbled on was this picture right here. Funny story. So what made the 2002 team so special? Um, you know, I think it was a special team just because it was largely the same group of people that had, you know, played together for a few years, uh, had gone to this tournament for a few years and really kind of developed in their, you know, lacrosse careers together, uh, which I don't think could be the same thing for the other teams that were at the tournament. I think we we're a little bit more cohesive just because we had that shared history. Uh, but then from just a, a sheer uh, player profile standpoint, we had a good mix of, of kind of everybody at every position. I was very fortunate to be a part of that team. It was loaded with talent. Um, my attack teammate, Dave Mitchell, uh, later on went on to make Team Canada and then uh, had a very successful career at Cornell, played in the NLL, the MLL. Uh, other guys on that team, we had Andrew Metz, the goalie, the top goalie, uh, made the all-star team. Jason Beattie, uh, all-star midfielder. Luke Blondeau, he was the uh, all-star team as well, but the tournament MVP. Myself made the uh, the all-star team. Uh, very neat and, and a big accomplishment was me and Dave Mitchell also tied for the tournament uh, with points. Obviously, Dave was a sniper and I was a passer. But it was just all around a, a perfect team from coaching staff to our midfielders to the guys that knew uh, what to do with ground balls. And it was just overall a, a perfect team that was constructed. And Kirk Kyle had a, a good hand in that as well. And the coaching staff did a good job. We had, uh, you know, good, good strong face-off guys. We had strong attack, good midfield, good goaltending. Uh, we were just an unusually, I guess, talented and, and physical team. So uh, I think everything just kind of lined up, uh, both experience and just uh, talent-wise, uh, in 2002 for us. I think the thing that made that team so special was <clears throat> how quickly we did become a team. We had, we had a really good team right from the defense out. Defense, we were loaded. Midfield, we had a good group of guys that could move the ball. And then our attack could go to work. And... I think just how, how, how well we gelled as a group so quickly. Uh, I know we didn't have much time going into that tournament, but it was, it was impressive how well we came together. Our expectations of that tournament was was to come home with the gold. We knew we had a good team. Um, I believe we lost the first game to BC. We were discouraged. We were disappointed. But I don't I don't think that we we gave it our all right from the start. We weren't sure exactly what we were getting into, but it was a good wake up call for us. Um, we were grouped. Uh, we knew we'd probably be seeing them down the road if things went according to plan. Um, Yes, obviously, um, trying to knock off BC is the main goal every year. Each year we got a little bit better. I believe we finished fourth and third and second, and then we knew that this was going to be our year to uh, try to capitalize and come home with a gold medal. Unfortunately, we didn't do uh, so well when we met the BC selects in the round robin. We lost 14 to 10, but we learned a lot, and we knew if we were going to face them again, we were going to uh, definitely give them a game, and, and hopefully it would be in the championship final and come home with a gold medal. A lot of the players on the team had experience in 2000 and 2001 uh, at the tournament. You know, we had we had seen the competition, we had seen the level of play. Uh, we knew that 
you know, with that experience and having just matured and becoming better lacrosse players that in 2002, we probably had a pretty good chance to uh, at least be in a medal game. Uh, and then when we got to Kelowna and started getting more comfortable as the games went along, you know, I think our confidence uh, just grew from there and we started playing really well together and everything just kind of came together. So, you know, we really didn't shock ourselves when we uh, ended up in the gold medal game and ended up winning it all, uh, I would think.
tournament. Um, with the friendships. Um, I know time passes everyone on and not everyone stays in touch, but you'd be surprised, you know, if you sat down with some, everyone on that team right now and it'd be like you wouldn't skip a beat. So, that's what sports is. It's, it's a lifelong um, friendship that you create when you're on a team with someone and then especially winning a championship. Those are lifelong bonds. friendships that you develop off and how you know time time is not a factor when it comes to that so some advice for myself back in the day would just be to enjoy the time um it moves quickly um don't take anything for granted and enjoy it and 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 try to do the best you can and leave everything out on the field and that's what we did that year and look at us 20 years now we're still still talking about it and throwing these videos together and it's pretty awesome, pretty special feeling. One last look at it. Take care, guys. Hope everyone stays healthy, stays happy, and uh, we'll see you guys all soon. Thank you to everybody, teammates, uh, coaches, uh, SAS Lacrosse, and just making everything happen. And, and you know, uh, the, the future is bright.